Hi everyone. Happy Monday. How is everyone? We are here. We're a little earlier. Just a tad bit. I feel like this might be a little bit longer today. So I wanted to get going so that we don't keep everyone up past their bedtimes or really past my bedtime. Um, my name is Bethany. I am from Count Your Stitches. Um, we are making a spring craft tonight. So we're taking a break from the St. Patrick's Day stuff. We'll make one more of those next week before St. Patrick's Day. Um, but I'm taking a break for that tonight to make something springy. Not Easter. Co Actually, I'm sorry. Totally could be used for Easter, but um, totally could also be left up for all of springtime. All right. And tonight we got a lot of steps tonight. Um, so say hey when you're hopping on. Again, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're doing our usual Monday night live craft. Tonight we're going to be doing, um, a carrot, like, nice door hanger with some really pretty, um, greenery. Hi, Julia! I have a carrot, um, printout that we're going to use some graphite paper to transfer onto these, this beautiful, um, surface we're going to create Oh, bah, 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 bah. hi, Barbara. Um, surface, we're going to create ourselves. So it's going to be some fun stuff. So like I said, say hey when you're hopping on. Drop a comment. Drop some hearts and thumbs up. Make sure you sprinkle this out on your page, too, so we can get, like, the whole world watching us. <laughs> Got my ginger ale. Hi, Mom. All right, everybody. So like I said, we're starting a live craft tonight. Oh, hold the phone. I'm going to... It's going to go pause for a second, and then I'm going to be back. Hold on, Okay. Hi, everyone. Can you see me okay now? Sorry about that. I always forget to put it on my data instead of my um, instead of my Wi-Fi. So here we are. We're back. Okay. So again, mixed media craft tonight. We're going to be using some graphite transfer paper. We're going to be using some really pretty leaf greenery. We're going to use some paint sticks. We're using our little mini saw in a second. So we got a lot going on tonight. Um, like I said, say hey. Spread this out on your page um, so that we can share it with the world. And we're going to get going. All right, everybody? So I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, nine paint sticks. You can get these at Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. Um, seven of them are going to go next to each other in this arrangement here. I flip-flopped them every other in terms of the bevel being every other. Um, and right now they are ruler side down. Um because I'm going to, instead of gluing them together in the back like I normally would with popsicle sticks and everything, we're going to actually glue them together with two nice pieces across the top. And that's going to be our front. So it's going to look like a nice finished piece. So we need to cut these down to size. So we're going to break out our little mini saw, our Chicago Electric Power Tool Mighty Might Table Saw. Right? Hello. Does everybody remember this little guy from Christmas? We haven't used them in a little while. All right, so here we are. Hey, Peg. All right, where's my, where's my little thing? Here he is. All right, so I've got my, my little mini vacuum for afterwards. I'm going to stand up for this so I have the seven paint sticks right here next to each other. And so I measured out how long this needs to be to go across the seven. I'm going to stand up for this, like I said. So I measured them out. You can see my pencil mark there, or maybe you can't. I'm not sure. We're going to measure this out. And I'm going to stand up so I have full control. All righty. So I'm going to turn this bad boy. Oh, my God. How did I already get up? I haven't even started and I've already got sawdust all over me. All right. Here we go. We're just going to cut these two down to size. All righty. One. Two. Let that finish up. Brush ourselves off from sawdust. All right. I'm going to unplug it immediately because I don't want it to go on by accident. She is unplugged. She is off. She is unplugged. She is going off to the side. I will vacuum later. Well, I'll vacuum there. Going to use our little mini vacuum. Oh, and vacuum up the sawdust. This little mini vacuum is the best i don't even know how much money it costs like maybe eight nine bucks i don't know even if it was more it's the best money i've ever spent this little mini tabletop vacuum it's amazing all right there we go we've done it so now that we've cut our pieces to size these are now extras that we will use for something else another time we will glue our seven paint sticks together okay so like i said i flip-flopped them 
um, beveled edge down versus beveled edge up. The ruler side is down, so what that means is the finished side, the non-ruler side of the paint sticks is up. That's opposite of what I normally do, but because I'm gluing these on top as if they were a part, as, as if they are part of the piece, um, kind of like a nice frame, I want it to be the finished side. So make sure you glue these little pieces that side up too, okay? I have to say, it's so nice to be able to actually cut my paint sticks and just like make a beautiful surface and do whatever I want to do. It's kind of cool. I feel like my voice has been very off today. Um, almost like I'm losing it, which would be like Bob's favorite gift ever if I lost my voice. Um, but I, I don't know who I, why can't I see? Hey, Debbie, how are you? All right. So here we go. We just cut these down on a little mini mighty saw. We're going to glue them together. We're making a mixed media, little carrot door hanger. Um, oh, I forgot I need paint and water and stuff. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I forgot about paint. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Hold on. All of my paint sticks just moved on me. Hold on. Having a moment. Having a moment here, guys. Hold on. There we go. Okay. It's not going to be perfect, and that's okay. Nothing we do is perfect, and that makes it fun. Hi, Amy. Hi, Debbie. All right, so that's like a little bit crooked, but I don't care. Okay, now let's flip it over and glue the other one on. I gotta get myself some paint. I can't, I was like, I don't need paint tonight. Yes, I do. Oh, my Lanta. I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. You know what? I don't, I won't worry about the water too much because I will just wash them immediately afterwards. All right, so I'm gonna try desperately to push this together because it's kind of not together. And okay, so if you can see what I'm doing, right? We just kind of lined each side. I missed you the last, oh, Debbie, I missed you. I'm so glad you caught us live this week. All right, so here's our piece together now. All right, so isn't this kind of pretty, pretty sturdy? And that way too, you don't have all like the popsicle sticks along the back, it's really nice on both sides. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, now, like I said, tonight might be a little bit of a long one, so that's why I wanted to start early tonight. Step one is we are going to stain this. I have some paper towels, so I'm going to put some paper towels out so that when I'm done with the paintbrush, I will have a place to put it. Since I decided I don't need water or anything tonight, dear Lord, what is wrong with me? All right, so there we go. So we're going to use one of our new paint brushes because I really love the way it paints. And we're just going to stain this whole thing real quick, all right? And I'm a big fan of staining and then painting something white. Now, again, this is not real stain, right, guys? This is our antique wax from uh, Waverly, it's a Walmart, I don't know if it's, I can't say that it's a Walmart brand, um, but I get it at the Walmart. <laughs> um, and let me tell you, I have had this, This you know how much I use this, right? You guys see me use it all the darn tootin' time. And I have had this one bottle for a long time. It's probably, it's been I mean, I think, I, oh, I know where I got it. Mom and I were on our little mom and me thing in the summer. So, I mean, this has been over six months that I've had this one bottle. So, hi, Mom. I, I, I saw you earlier, Mom. I got you. I thought I said hi. I'm sorry. All right, so I'm just going to faux stain this. I like doing this under white paint so that it gives it more of a rustic look. Um, so, I'm just doing a quick stain on this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't even have to be the same, like, darkness on all sides. Not worrying about that. All righty. All right, there we go. And I'm just going to sort of do the edges, but also not going to worry too much about it. Got a little bit of extra stain over there. All right, so there's a quick stain, right? Going to quickly... Um, close this up. We don't need it anymore. So what's up, everybody? How's everyone doing? Is anybody, are we competing with the ACMs right now? Hey, Caroline. Oh, no, my gosh. I need to read. Hi, Carolyn. How are you? It's so nice to see you. Carolyn, Carolyn, are you new here? I can't, I'm not sure. We've, we've chatted on live before. Who else we got on here? Why can't I see? Is that Joanne? Hey, Joanne. Oh, jo wait, Joanne, like Amy Joanne? No. Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. I'm I'm not good. I'm not I'm having a having name difficulties. All right, I'm just wiping this off on the back. 
I can, I might stain this later just to make it look prettier, but wiping down my station. All right, so we're gonna put that there. Let's give this a quick dry. And then we're gonna hit this with some Waverly. Oh, hello, Carolyn, Justin's mom, yes, hi. Welcome to Count Your Stitches. Love having you here. What's everybody, so as I was saying earlier, are we competing with the ACMs right now? The Academy of Country Music Awards? We're big country, well, I shouldn't say we're big country music fans. Uh, Bob is not. <laughs> I am a big country music fan, but um, the ACM, I heard on the radio today. I don't know if you, are anybody here, big country fans, drop some comments if you are. Um, I'm taking some Waverly chalk paint in white. And I'm going to take like a chippy kind of brush, like a rough kind of brush, and just give this like a brief coat. Like a, we're not looking for full coverage, looking for rustic coverage. We're going to coin that, guys, right? Rustic coverage. Um, so not full coverage, but rustic coverage. Um, so the ACMs I heard today on the radio for the first time ever are not being broadcast on a cable TV network. They are on, I think, Amazon Prime. Isn't that crazy? Like, what a new world we're living in. I don't know how I feel about it. I gotta be honest. Uh, I mean, we have Amazon Prime, so luckily, if we wanted to watch it, we could. Um, but not everybody got Amazon Prime. But I don't know, I guess... We are ACM Ross. Yeah, I'm not happy. Mom, we, Mom, you have Amazon Prime, though. It's on Amazon Prime. And you have that. And you want to know why I know you have that? Because we share it. <laughs> oh, should I not say that? Because you have it. That's how I know. <laughs> Hopefully Amazon's not watching me right now. Um, aw, AIM. Thanks, girl. Um, yeah, it's so strange, though, that they're not on a cable network. I wonder how it's going to go. It's so funny. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine once about like this whole streaming thing we got having happening in the world, right? Or the, whatever in the country right now, as opposed to the cable, which let's be real here, guys. Originally when this whole streaming thing happened, it was, you know, you could do the streaming and it was cheaper than cable and it was like a nice alternative, but that is not the case anymore. When you add all these things up, it is not cheaper in any way. Um, and so Excuse me. So a friend of mine was saying, you know, so funny that, you know, we have all these streaming things. It's like one day maybe we'll put all those streaming things in one and then have a TV. And it's like, that's cable, right? <laughs> we're just re we're just reinventing ourselves. <laughs> that's all we do. Oh, you know, um, it just, <laughs> we just reinvent ourselves. All right. So see, we got like a chat. This is called rustic coverage. So it's not full coverage, it's rustic coverage, which means you have lots of, lots of see-through. Hey, Orange, how are you? Um, so I'm just drying this up. So for those of you who are just hopping on, we took some paint stir sticks. You can buy them, buy them in a pack of 10 at most hardware stores for, for nothing, like basically nothing. Um, who else is on here? Hey, Heather. Um, and so I took seven of them. Put them side by each and um, alternated them like in terms of where that beveled edge is. And then I took two other paint sticks and cut them down with my little mini saw. My little mini saw that's very heavy. Hold on. My little mini table saw. Uh, we cut it down to size so that way we could glue them together with them. It's right here. So now we've got ourselves a nice surface. Okay. So now here we go. This is where we're going to do something new. I don't even know if it's going to work. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about it. I saw, um, on Southern Adorn Southern Adornments, this woman I watched, this crafter, technically she's like a painter. Um, she took a print, cut out a print from a computer and used graphite paper to then draw it on the piece. So then she could paint it. So that is my goal today. Okay. I don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about it. Um, but I got some graphite paper, cutest mini, I know, is that not the cutest little mini table saw? I love it. So I want to do a carrot, okay? So I cut out a carrot, it's a carrot, I promise, okay? I know it looks a little sketch, but it's a carrot, I cut the leaves off, okay? We don't need the leaves, we're going to create the leaves ourselves with the beautifulness here, okay? 
So let's see if we can do this. So I'm going to take some painter's tape and first I'm going to place my carrot. I want it to be kind of like towards the bottom. I know the graphite paper is supposed to go underneath. You can just don't worry. I got this. I sort of got this. Okay. So I want the carrot to be down here a little. Okay. So I'm going to tape this in place first just to tape it in place. So it stays because I want it like crooked. Is that off center enough? I want it off center. It's tough with the, um, I should have like cut the piece of paper. But all right, cool. So there we go. Now I'm going to take the piece of graphite paper. So it's like our carbon paper, right? Tracing, the, the tracing, like, like when you're writing a check, you know, that paper. Okay, got some on Amazon. I got a piece here. I don't know which side goes up. Does anybody know what side goes up? Uh-oh. Anybody know what side goes up? It's the dark side or the... Well, hold on. Well, I guess we'll find out, right? We're going to put... I'm going to guess that it's the dark side up. If someone knows, let me know, okay? And I'm going to place it underneath. And place it underneath. And then we're going to take a pen. Fun fact, this is a cross pen, right, from Mama. And... um used it at our wedding to sign books, the book or whatever. So, okay, here we go. And now we're gonna trace this out and hope that it's working. Is it working? No, it's not working. Okay, hold on, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna try again. If it doesn't work, guys, it's gonna be a struggle bus. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do. All right, let's try again. Did that work? That worked. Okay, so dark side down. Got it. Thank you, Amy. You good, girl. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm just tracing my carrot, just using a regular old pen. Okay, and then this will give us the outline of what to paint. All righty. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Well, especially this doesn't have to be perfect because it's a carrot. All right, and I am gonna do these lines. I may not, I probably am gonna have to freehand these lines because I'm gonna paint over them, but for now, I'm gonna draw them on. And okay, oh my gosh, it worked, yay! So now we have our carrot drawn on our page. So can you see the carrot? See the carrot a little bit? Kind of looks like a potato at this point. Okay, so now, uh, hi to Kim. And, oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. Thank you for always being here. You're so good to me. Okay, now I'm gonna get my little, my little paint thing out. Mom got me these, these little paint holders. We used one last week. Got some orange paint. Whoa, whoa, we're exploding with the orange paint. Okay, chill, chill. I don't know what happened there. Maybe some air, is there air in here? Yeah, some air, okay. Well, that can just sit and relax itself. Okay, and now I'm gonna take a um I'm gonna take a round brush because I feel like I'm being fancy, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Both root right is oh that's a good point. Potatoes, carrots, both root vegetables. Oh, Debbie, thank you. All right, I see lots of new friends hopping on. So say hello. My name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. Taking a sip of my ginger ale. We are um making a carrot hanger. So we made this surface already with some paint sticks and then I just used some graphite like carbon paper to trace out this carrot. And now we're gonna paint our carrot, okay? Um, so I'm just tracing out our carrot. The only problem is you can see the lines. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with that. And again, I'm not making this perfect because A, it's a carrot. So it's, you know, not supposed to be perfect, right? Um, so anywho, how is everybody enjoying their Monday? Did anybody else feel like today was like, I feel like, okay, so I feel as though I say every Monday that it was the Mondayest of Mondays. But for some reason, um, everybody I talked to today just was having a struggle bus of a Monday. And I don't know if maybe because the weather was nice yesterday. I mean, think about like when spring comes, forget it. We don't want to go back to work. Um, so I don't know what it was, but for some reason today, it was just, it was just a struggle. How was it for everybody else? How was your Monday? 
Tell me about your Monday. I would love to hear about it. I'm just drying up my carrot. While I'm drying my carrot, tell me about your Monday. <laughs> That's the kind of Monday I'm having. This is like overtired fake happiness right now. I'm not going to lie to you guys because you're my peeps, so I have to be honest. And I also feel like I'm losing my voice, which I was saying earlier would be like Bob's best present ever for me to lose my voice. Uh, I didn't even have to talk that much at work today. I just had a lot of work to do and not so many like Zooms. I haven't had as I don't have quite as many Zooms. Um, so, all right, I'm doing a second coat on our carrot here. I think I'm going to outline our carrot in um, maybe in some dark brown um, and some highlight with some brown just to give it some more dimension. All right, so I think that's orange enough. Yep, I definitely think that's orange enough. Now I think we're going to go around it with some brown. Um, so there's our carrot so far. Okay, remember we're going to use green, lot, regular greenery for this. Struggle bus for Monday pop. Yes, Amy. Yes, yes, yes. It was just one heck of a Monday. Um, but it was a beautiful weekend. Oh my God. Okay. So I have to say this funny story. So at work, we have this hallway that has the one big, big wall of all rectangular glass windows, like horizontal, like blocks. Right. And I'm walking and I'm like, man, it's so much colder outside my office than it is in this hallway. And I see these guys working outside. I'm like, oh, they're cleaning the windows. Super cool. Who's watching? Hey, Donna. So I see these guys cleaning the wind, washing the windows. And I'm like, oh, nice. But I'm like, man, I can hear them so well. And they're outside. Like, why can I hear them so well? And they're cleaning the windows and they look so good, like so clear. I'm like, but why is it so chilly in here? They had removed the windows. <laughs> there weren't windows there. I could stick my hand out the window. Um, so that's the kind of Monday I had. I didn't even realize that the window was removed. Um, yeah. <laughs> so if anybody can relate to that, that's where I'm at today, everybody. That's where I'm at today. All right, I got some, is this what I want? Chocolate bars? Is this dark, dark and brown I got? Definitely don't want the nutmeg. No, okay, cool. So I got some chocolate bar, which I can't even have a chocolate bar right now because it's Lent. Um, all right, so I'm going to, what is with these paints? They're like ready to be, this is not cool, man. All right, so now what I'm going to do is take a smaller brush. Um, but yeah, so that is the kind of Monday I had that I didn't know the window was open. Uh, <laughs> Anybody else have that kind of Monday? Had to go to the post office today. Took me a half an hour. Half an hour. I'm like, dear Lord in heaven above, why is it not popping up here? Oh, I wore my sweater backwards today. No, oh, jeez, Aim. Oh, jeez, girl. I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens. All right, so we're just going to do a little outline of our of our carrot. To be honest, I don't think we're going to outline the whole thing. I think we're just going to do... I think we're just going to do some, like, lines. Yep, okay, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to just make some lines. Yep, okay. Alrighty. Yep, we're just going to... So I'm not making, like, full lines. Everything's just kind of being brushed on brushed on all right okay there we go there we go i feel like i need like a one swoosh up there maybe another swoosh down here okay so there's our carrot it will look more like a carrot in a few i promise hi carrie uh okay so there's that we're gonna dry this up I should probably give it a quick sand. I don't know. Okay. So there's that. I think I am going to grab my sanding block. So this isn't taking quite as long as I thought. So that's a good thing. All right. So now we're going to grab our sanding block. And then what we're going to do is make... We're, so we're going to take our greenery and make the, the... What's it called? You tell me... I'm going to get the sanding block... Does someone know what the top of the carrot is called? Like the the stem? Is it the stem? And see, again, is this the kind of Monday I'm having that I can't remember the stem? Um, so I'm just going to give this a sand. 
looking a little bit too perfect on top of this rusticness. All right, there we go. That's better. We'll let it blend in a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but it made a difference. I promise. <laughs> okay, so now we will take care of that later. So I'll take care of the paintbrushes later. I'm trying to be better about taking care of my paintbrushes. So we're going to use this stuff. It's called a boxwood pick. It's um, from Walmart. Walmart has got some really nice craft supplies. Um, it's not always the cheapest, I will, which is interesting because it's Walmart. Um, oh, thank you, Carrie. Um, that's very sweet of you. Carrie, I forgot to tell you, it's in the mail. So should be there in a couple days. I got to text the other person that I sent out today too. Um, so we're going to use this as the stem and to, to blah, 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 blah. wow, to cover the bottoms of these stems, we're going to make a nice big bow. Okay. So I'm going to pull, yep. Perfect. We're just going to pull these little guys off. They, they kind of just pull right off and it's fantastic. Okay. I'm just going to use these. They pull off in like little, little bunches. Okay. And we're going to create the stem. Did y'all see where I'm going with this? Everybody see where I'm going with this? I actually think this might work. Sometimes I have a plan. I thought of this while I was at work today. And I don't know what made me think of this or what made me think it would work or anything. Like what made me think, of, let's paint a carrot and then use this for the stem. I don't know what made me think of it, but hey, it's working. So we're going to go with it. I want four in there though. Okay, so I'm just going to take my hot glue and glue these guys down. All righty. I'm gonna put a bunch of hot glue down. Get these four guys in there. One, two, three, and four. All righty. Are you guys actually where I need you to be to be my stem of my carrot? I think so. Oh, maybe you have to be in the hot glue though, bro. Okay, there we go. All right, so they're in the hot glue. They're doing their hot glue drying moment. But I'll just, show, oops, okay, hold on. I can't lift them yet. Hot glue is still drying. Please hold. Um, okay, so, but yeah, I thought of this at work today. I have no idea what I came, how I came up with this one. So like I said, the using the carbon paper to trace the carrot came from um, Southern Adornments. She did it with a bunny, um, which I have to be honest, that might be coming up. Oh, I should show you the little thing I got from Michael's. Hold on. While this dries, I want to show you something. Look at this adorable wooden hanger we're going to paint uh, when it gets closer to Easter. Look at that. Is that not the most adorable? It's super simple. It was like 40% off, so totally worth it. Has the bunny already on it. Oh, my God. I'm so in love with it, and I can't wait to paint it. Um, I normally don't get things that are already so pre-made, but... I just couldn't get enough of how cute that was. All right, so here's where we're at so far. You gonna stay? You gonna stay? Okay. Here's where we're at so far, okay? I may need to tack those down up top. But we got the carrot, but I don't like that you can see that. So we're gonna make a bow for our carrot to finish this whole thing off, okay? So the pick can go away. So now I've got some really funky ribbon. It's not really, I shouldn't say, it's not funky ribbon. It's just not a combination of ribbon I would normally use. Um, and to be honest, it actually might be a little bit much, but like I'm wondering if I should just do a buffalo check plaid. That's what I'm wondering if I should just do. Thank you. Like, should I just do a big buffalo check plaid and like call it a day? Okay, I'm going to need your help. So here's where we're at, right? This is where we're at. Super simple, nothing fancy. I've got this buffalo check plaid ribbon that I adore. My thought was to layer the buffalo check plaid with this ribbon and then this polka dot burlap and then the carrot. My thought now is do I just make a cute rip bow out of the buffalo check plaid and throw a little carrot on top? Fab. Oh, thank you. So, he so again, so thoughts. Do we use all four ribbon? Or just buffalo check with the carrot. I'm I'm leaning towards buffalo check with the carrot, but I want to hear your opinion because you matter to me. <laughs> I, you really do. I mean, how many times do our, my projects come from you guys? So, um, all four ribbon, or just the buffalo check plaid and carrots. You let me know. 
And yeah, y'all let me know. Sound like a plan? So just let me know. Let me know. Hey, Liz. So again, uh, just buffalo and carrot or all four. Let me know. Drop a comment. Tell me what we should use. I want to hear from y'all. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Just grabbing my... Got a lot going on here, guys. It's getting a little crowded. A lot going on. A lot going on. What do you think? Can we see them all layered? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yes, I think so. So it would be the buffalo check. Here, I'll layer it down. Then this one. Then this one. Then, then the carrot. Hold on. Please hold, and I will hold it up to the camera, okay? Up to the phone. So this is what the four would be like together. I just can't even see the buffalo check button. Hold on. There we go. That would be the four together. Hi! What do we think? So my thought with the buffalo check plaid was to give it a pop of like a um, more contemporary color scheme. I don't know. Um, but so there's the four layered. My thought is to go with just these two. A little bit, a little bit country, a little bit contemporary. I'm not, I think, I think this is the way I'm going to go just because it turned out a little bit different than I thought, but let me know. Okay. Let me know your thoughts. Let's wind these back up. Check carrots. Okay. I'm feeling it, Carolyn. I'm feeling it. Yeah, I'm just not... You know, it's so funny. I haven't used... Um, I haven't used the polka dot and this one, th these two, like, burl different kind of burlap. I haven't used them yet. And I just... Every time I go to use them, I'm just not feeling it. It's so strange. Um, the three and no buffalo plaid. Oh, Mom, no buffalo plaid. My goodness. That's like my... That's my jam, Mom. That's my jam. But maybe the buffalo is not right for this piece. Maybe it's not right for this piece. How about polka dot? Because people, I know we got the check and the cat. We got two votes for no buffalo. And guys, you know me. I'm a, bu I'm a buffalo check girl. I don't know what's going on here. Um, okay. Well, well, I need to follow my peeps. Let's do... I just, I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure. I'm not, you know what it is? I'm not sure how I like this pink with it. I don't think the pink is what I want to add to it. Okay. You know, and Amy, I'm not opposed to that either because I'm wondering if adding carrot on carrot is weird. Um, so, okay, let's try. I'm going to make a bow out of the buffalo check. We're going to start there. Um, I'm going to do my bow that I just do the, the two loops like this. Um, all right. Here we go. Let's start here. Yeah, I don't think the pink is right for it. I'm with you guys. So we're going to do a big, I'm going to need to get another one of these. I'm going to get do a big buffalo check plaid. Okay, we're going to start there. Start there. There we go. Oops, there we go. Okay, so we got the buffalo check. And then let's do, yeah, so I think the consensus is no to the pink. And we're going to use all the others. Okay, coolness, coolness, coolness. All right, so let me just cut this tail. Perfect. All right, now let's, we'll grab some polka dot and some carrot. And we'll call it a day. We'll glue it on. It'll be adorbs. All right, so we're going to start with this. We can trim the tails later, but you know, zhuzh, all that fun stuff that we love to do. We'll do it later. Okay, so here's the beginnings of it. Okay, there we go. That's a good base. That's a big bow. Hold on. She needs to be a little bit smaller. Too big. Too big, guys. We went too big. Ay, Dios mio. Okay, there we go. A little bit better, I think. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we got that one. And then let's grab this. I'm literally, I'm going to do the same bow. 
for all of them. That tie bow that I love to have. <laughs> tie bow. Anybody ever do tie bow? Remember that guy? What's that guy's name? Anybody remember the tie bow guy's name? I can't remember it. Sean, no. What was his No, was it Sean? Sean T? No. Sean T is the P90X guy. Polka dot and carrot. Yeah, I think we're going to do a combo of polka dot, the plaid, and the carrot. I think is where we're going to end up, guys. Okay? So here's the polka dot. This looks super cute. Okay, I'm going to twist this around so we can see the polka dot. All right, so she's going to go on top like so. All righty. And we're going to trim up the edges at the end. And then we'll just throw a little carrot ribbon, a little carrot right on top. It's a little carrot right on the top, okay? <sighs> well, yeah, so what was the what was the Ty Bow guy's name? So Sean T was P90X. Oh, my God, I had these buddies in college that would do P90X, and I would watch. I would watch. That's my That was my level of exercise. It's not far from my level of exercise now. Um, no, I do a little bit more now, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Um, they, used to, they used to do P90X. Oh, my God, they would just, like, throw up all the time. Billy Blanks. There it is, Liz. Liz for the win. Liz for the win. Billy Blanks. Um, and they would just throw up, and I'm like, how... How is this cool? Like, what? Are, what is the point? I don't know. Maybe that's the point. Throw up and lose. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I didn't want to do it. They used to, yeah, the P90X and all that craziness. No bueno. No gracias. Adios. All I have to say. All right. I did not need this. Let's glue this together. I do need to put a hanger on the back at some point. But right now, we're not going to. Okay, so here's the, th we're going to do the three layers, and then we'll trim up the, ooh, we're going to really, like, hide the, I'm going to get this up nice and high. Yeah, we're going to get that up nice and high into the carrot, into the top there. All right, let's glue this on. So just a dab of hot glue in the back. Push, put that on. And like I said, we're going to trim up these at the end, um, and it's going to be great. <laughs> Okay, just finishing up, guys. Hey, if you're just hopping on, you need to say hello, okay? Uh, my name is Bethany. I am from Count Your Stitches. We are creating this adorable little carrot hanger. Spring craft can stay up all spring, not east, not just Easter, but also Easter at the same time. What We love double duty, right? We love when we don't have to change our door hanger. Um, so pull in some double duty with this one. Just gluing the polka dot on now. I quite like this, guys. You know what? Y'all knew what you were talking about. You were you were all just together making a decision, right? We some of us said the buffalo, some of us said the polka dot, some of us said the carrot. The pink got the nicks, and that's what we did. We nixed the pink, and that's okay. Some we don't need to use everything every time, you know. And this little carrot, how can you not use the little carrot ribbon? I just I love this stuff. Sometimes the Dollar Tree has the cutest little ribbon. You don't know what you're ever going to use it for. But you get it because you're like, of course I need ribbon with carrots on it. Or of course I need ribbon with like little farmer trucks on it and little chickens and eggs. Of course I need it. I don't know when I'm going to use it, but I need it. So, and one day you find a project and you use it and it's beautiful. We have to make a project during Easter. We used the ribbon once last year. We have to use it again. It's beautiful like bunnies and eggs, this ribbon. Oh, we have to use it again. Just love that stuff. Okay. Let's trim up this... Um, Little BB cat, right? Little BB cat ribbon. It's so cute. Okay, we're gonna trim up this, these tails because we don't need them long. I don't even like want the tails, really. Let's be real here, guys. As much as I love the tails, I just don't really want them. Long here, short there. Yes, okay. Okay. Trim these up. I'm kind of doing a backwards, like normally the, the tail kind of goes the other way, but. Kind of like this long in the front, short in the back. You know what it is? It's like my haircut. Long in the front, short in the back. It's what we're doing with our ribbon right now. It's what we're doing with our ribbon. Okay. Get through the wire. I will say it definitely is easier to make a lot of these bows when you have wire ribbon. Just a pro tip for you. Okay? Just a little pro tip for you. Now, this carrot ribbon is being a pain in the behind. I'm going to stick a piece, little dab of hot glue, 
just a dab, just so I can place it where I want it, okay? I'm just gonna hold that there for a second. I just want it to face the way I want it. Ow, that is hot. Okay. Oh, that trimming really made it because it was a little overwhelming at first. But let me just zhuzh it and then I will final reveal it for you. Okay. Are we ready? Here we go. I am so pumped about this. Look at that. It's so cute. Our little carrot hanger. What I'll do is just put a hanger right on the back here. I think I'm going to stain the back first so that it looks a little bit more finished. Um, and then I'll put a hanger on the back. What do you think, y'all? We made this entirely ourselves. We used paint sticks to create the surface. We drew the carrot, painted it on, used the little fluffies. Look at that. I like it. It looks like a carrot, right? Help me. It looks like a carrot, right? Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, you guys are so nice. Thank you so much. Like I said, I like was I envisioned this at work today while typing an email. Um, thank you. And it it worked. I was so excited. <laughs> um, oh, you guys are so oh, thank you, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen, and thank you, Jen. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. Um, oh, thank you so, so much. I really love how this came out. Um, if you're just hopping on now, um, hi, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're just finishing up our Monday night. We go live every Monday night, but usually between 8.30 and 9. So just like get ready at 8.30 and we'll be there. Um, sometime between 8.30 and 9. Um, I wanted to be a little early tonight. I had two meetings before this and I just wanted to get on and now I'm going to go take you know, get comfy, comfy clothes on and, and just relax and crochet a duck. Um, cause all I do is crochet these days. Thank you so much. Um, all I do is crochet so many orders, but I'm loving it. And so it's great. But if you miss this, just wait a few and then the replay will be available and you can watch it later and hashtag replay below. Okay. Um, but thank you so much for joining me. If you're watching the ACMs on, uh, Amazon, go enjoy them. Have fun. Um, if not, have fun anyway. Have a lovely evening. Have a wonderful week. Um, and I will see you all next week. All right? Yeah, that's it. I think that's all I have to say tonight. Sorry. <laughs> um, but thanks so much again, everybody. Have an awesome night. I will see you next week. And always remember to count your stitches. Bye, everybody.